Yes, sure, I have a lot, so much advice, but I think, first of all, very simply, it's really hard to be a filmmaker. So if you can do anything else, don't do it. But if you have to be a filmmaker, keep, it's, it is really hard. So don't give up. Don't think, oh, it's easier to just finish this now if you know it's not done and you're still fascinated by it. Keep going. Be prepared to put projects aside that you're no longer fascinated by. But if you're still fascinated, keep going. And don't listen to anyone who tells you how it should be done. Yet, take advice as much as possible from people who can understand your vision, which puts a tremendous demand on you to be able to communicate that vision. Practice that. Don't think that like great art is made by having some kind of vision, especially in a collaborative medium like cinema, that you're going to make something great by just getting money, which has complete artistic freedom and going and doing your own thing. No, you as a filmmaker need to be able to communicate your vision to everyone you work with, not just your producer, but your uh, and your cinematographer and your participants, but also your uh, sound designer, your sound recordist, your everybody, and listen to them. You know, you don't have to, I, I, I don't let people talk on set in front of my participants in a kind of democracy, but I make sure there's a space before, after, during, if I need to, every scene to say, to get real feedback and ask what we should be doing differently. And that, of course, only works if the, particip if the, if the crew is in my head. And then I'd also say, follow your fascination not in the sense, I think I said this earlier, of trying to find a good story in which to put the thing that fascinates you, like I'm interested in this woman, and so I'll make a film about her, or I'll, I'm interested in this uh, issue, so I'll make a film about it, or I'm interested in this phenomenon, so I'll work it into my film somehow. But if that interests you, ask yourself, what is it that interests you? Of what is it a symptom? Of what is it a metaphor? And dig deep, and find ways of exploring that phenomenon with your camera and don't worry don't think about what the story you're telling is yes of course you'll need to think oh i need what information the audience will need to know to understand the images that most fascinate you that most move you but don't if you know the story before you start you shouldn't make the film you should just it's an exploration and it should be an, ex an excavation going deeper and deeper into what fascinates you. If you just take a fascinating phenomenon and stick it in a story, you'll make a cliched story with something that interests you in it, and it will never be a great film. But dig deep into what your fascination is and find the language cinematically, formally, for making that visible and felt and immersive. Bring the audience into it. Reject the objectivity of the distance of objectivity and swap it for, as I said earlier, the intimacy of truth.